Hi, my name is Anya Otuchuku and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Gravy Sports. I'm a software developer and I'm also a brand expert. Um, yeah. So we started uh, Crave Esports around 2020 July and our goal was to help esports brands in Nigeria and Africa to get like a professional or unique identity that sets them apart from the rest and kind of like sets them up as a very as a unique business or legitimate business that you um, can run in Nigeria. So um, back then people were just doing things for the fun of it. We didn't, it was really like, um, yeah people were just doing things for the fun of it actually. There was not really, much people wouldn't taking it serious and then uh, most teams were just like we band together, we just take part in games and that'll be all. So uh we decided to like you know like bring them all together because in the global esports space, you know, these guys are, like big brands and stuff. So let's bring that back home. Like let's help educate these people and teach them like hey what you're doing can be big and you can build a successful career with it. So that was the grand vision or idea of um of Gravy Sports and that and it still is today. So, um, Gravis was um, provides branding essentials, web develop, web design or web development, um, the full business branding package, um, brand consulting or esports brand consulting and promotions too. So, um, we we got our first client by around kind of kind twenty twenty one early twenty twenty one. And our first client was turning easy. So I remember the founder of um, the of um, turning easy, Mr. Debayo, actually messaged me on, on Twitter because Twitter was like the main space where everybody was like kind of like doing their stuff. So uh, I was like, um, "Hey, Tuchu, uh, I wanted to. Uh, I would like you to run up my brand. I have this idea. I would like to put it into place. I have this business I'm trying to build and stuff." So I remember. Uh, Making up this interview, I, I organized an interview with him where we had a, we had I just had asking questions, you know. So um, I think the most exciting part of it was actually when he told us the name of his brand was going to be Tenen Eight E, and we were like, oh, we don't understand, like we don't understand what that means. So he was not like um, um, explained for us. I know that Tenen Eight E was actually the latitude and longitude of Nigeria. So like it was at that point that the whole thing clicked like oh yeah like that's a really good idea so um we did it and the logo design too logo design was yeah it was kind of like a bit challenging in a way because we had a lot of options and we had to show him a whole bunch of options we had uh we had to go with abstract design because the abstract design there was like the reason for going with abstract design here was like because we wanted people to like kind of like get this like once you see this um structure this pattern like you know that it's turning it in, actually like that's the first thing that comes to your mind so that's what we did and um, we went with because abstract design can can be used to represent something or can represent anything you want it to be so that's what we did and um, we came up with this abstract design that um, kind of like is a unique idea behind um turning it in today so uh that's a short story with how on how we um, branded Kryptonian it is really exciting and they are really clean out there. So if you're watching this video, go check out uh, Tenen 8E, like yeah they're crushing it actually. Yeah.